Welcome back. I'm Rose. If you're new, welcome. If you are new, so just welcome back and just end it there, okay? So today's video is this makeup look right here. I said it's more Valentine's Day inspired, but honestly, you can wear this makeup look anytime you want. I know you've been seeing tons of Valentine's Day look if you watch YouTube videos tons because I've been seeing them a lot and I haven't seen like anything with like a pop of color. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today's video. Hope you enjoyed from start to finish and let's begin. All right, guys, I also have a hair tie around my hairline just to make sure my makeup doesn't get in my hairline. For some reason, that always happened. I'm like, not today, Lord, not today, okay? Okay, so I'm going to prime my eyelids using the MAC Studio Tech Concealer. Then to highlight my brow bone, I'm using the Kathleen Light Morphe Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to put it right on top of where my arch starts and then take it down to the tail of my brows. The first two shadows I'm using today is from Makeup Geek, if you're wondering. You guys know I'm obsessed with Makeup Geek, okay? I am using Tan Lines and Cabin Fever mixed together, and I'm applying this in the crease area of the eyes. I'm also going to dip into this burgundy eyeshadow. I'm going to apply this at the outer core of the eye, and again, take it into the crease area of my eye. If y'all follow me on Snapchat, you know I go ham, okay? Ham when it comes to my Kathleen Lights Morphe eyeshadow palette. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So if you haven't checked it out yet or got it, check it out. I'm then going to head back in with a Morphe eyeshadow brush to blend this eyeshadow out. I've been obsessed with this brush. I actually found it at Ricky's, guys, for $3.49. Hello, an eyeshadow brush for Morphe? Yeah. Then to create a base for my lid eyeshadow, and it's going to help to carve out the lids of my eyes. I'm using the LA Girl Pro HD concealer and my colors in toffee, or, toffee if you were wondering. I'm then going to go into this nice light taupey eyeshadow color. It's like a brown but it's very light compared to like the other darker warmer browns. It's like a more cool tone brown. I'm packing this on the lid area of my eyes. Then I'm going into a light pink shadow. I'm going to apply this right where my lid shadow ends. So it's right at that outer corner, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with that Morphe, really inexpensive, Morphe eyeshadow brush. For my liner today, I did a wing liner. This liner is from Ico. The tip of this liner is very fat, I will say, so it's a little bit more harder to work with. But if you're not the best at wing liner, they have a more skinnier tip, so it's a little bit more easier to work with. So definitely check it out. For my lashes today, I'm using a new lash. These are from NYX. I've never even knew NYX had lashes, guys, until I went to their store here in New York City. And these are in Risque. They're stunning. For my foundation, I went ahead and did that off camera because I literally always show you guys my foundation routine. But I used the L'Oreal Total Cover um, foundation. I'll put the link down below where I did a review video so you can see the application for that. I'm going to move on to the concealer. I'm going to use that same LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in Toffee if you're wondering. Applying this under my eyes, again, at my chin area and then at my forehead area. And of course, I blend it out with a damp beauty blender. I work at a makeup store and not a lot of people dampen their beauty blender. Make sure you do it, okay? I want you guys to do it because I love you and I want the best for you you know what i mean i'm gonna bake my face a little slash set under my eye with my ben 9 powder this is an olive sand if you're wondering and i'm just applying it under my eyes also and then just blending it out and i also apply just a little bit at my forehead area Then, this is where the fun happened, guys. To smoke out my Laura Lash Shine, I'm going to use Center Stage from Makeup Geek, if you're wondering. Then, to hide the inner corner of my eye, I'm using this gold shadow. Then, I'm going to apply mascara. I'm using the Brow House Mascara, if you're wondering. It's actually a brow salon here in New York City, and I got a couple of their products. Love the mascara. Just a little bit hard to get off, but I love it. For my highlight today, I'm using one of my favorite highlights ever. This is from Makeup Geek, if you're wondering. I've been obsessed with this highlight. Okay, it's called Midnight Sun. It is bomb. I love the color of the highlight because it looks great on women of color. But not only that, I like that when I put on this highlight, it does not make my pores, like, just look larger. You know when you put on those highlights, it's like, okay. I didn't even know I had those pores, though. 
So if you're looking for a new highlight, check out this Makeup Geek line. For my lips, I'm going to go with a more pink lip. This is ColourPop's R&B, similar to ColourPop's More Better, but I literally couldn't find More Better, so I was like, okay, we're gonna do R&B and just call it a day. is the final look thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today's video if you have not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe okay i love you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video adios oh and make sure you give this video a like okay i love you bye